Well, hello and welcome to the Hour of Fire with Prophet Jonathan Dorn, brought to you by Jonathan Dorn Ministries and KingdomDistrict.org. I pray and hope that you've had a blessed day today, that you're ready and excited to spend time in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says one can chase a thousand, two can put 10,000 to flight. Tonight we are powerful and we are stronger and we can accomplish more together. So why don't you go ahead and share this on your page. As you come on tonight, just begin to hit those hearts. Amen. Begin to share this on your page tonight. The power of God is going to move. The spirit of the Lord is going to speak and the anointing of Jesus Christ is going to fall upon you mightily tonight even as you are listening. Amen. The Bible says one can chase a thousand, two can put 10,000 to flight. Where there are two or three gathered together in my name, he said, there am I in the midst of them. If they be touching anything, he says, I'll give it unto them. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock at the door and it shall be open unto you. Tonight, we're going to seek, we're going to ask, we're going to knock. We're going to pray in Jesus' name, and we're going to believe God, amen, that there will be miracles tonight. There will be deliverance tonight. There will be breakthrough tonight in Jesus' name. I'm so blessed and honored to have you join me tonight. I'm going to take a moment to share this on my page, and I'm going to ask that you do the same thing. Let somebody know that we're live tonight. We are live and we're ready for the power of God to move and for the voice of God to speak to us. Amen. Tonight, we want him to speak with a resounding voice. Amen. We want him to speak to us right where we are. Amen. The Bible says, he that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord has to say unto the church. We serve a God that is willing and able to speak to us. And tonight, I want him to speak to you. Amen. I want him to speak to your situation. I want him to speak even to your circumstance. Amen. Whatever you're going through. Amen. Tonight, I believe there's a word uh, from the Lord just for you. Amen. I'm so thankful for you joining me tonight. Amen. I'm going to tag a few of you. Amen. I'm going to ask that you would do the same thing. Share this on your page and let somebody know that we're live tonight. Amen. I'm so excited about what God is doing and about what he is going to do even during this time of intercession tonight, as we're going to begin by going before the Lord in prayer, and then we're going to go, amen, into the word of God. And there is a word from the Lord for us tonight. Amen. The Bible says, amen, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. There is something that is that God is about to speak, amen, out of his mouth, amen, and there will be healing. There will be deliverance. There will be breakthrough tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. If I miss tagging you, I'm about to share this on my personal page. And if I miss tagging you in it, please take all mistakes for love. I tried to tag a few people in it. Amen. As I share it on my page. Amen. I thank God for you. I love you tonight. I pray and hope that you had a blessed day today. Amen. I thank God. It's so good to see you all on here tonight. I hope that you're ready. Amen. For the Lord to speak to us tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We give him the honor. We give him the glory and we give him the praise. Glory to God. I'm going to share this one other place. I'm going to ask that you do the same thing. Amen. As I share this tonight. Amen. Share this with the people of God. Amen. So that they can be blessed by the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Share this with somebody tonight. Amen. We are ready tonight for a move of the spirit. Amen. For God to speak to us, for the Lord to move. Amen. I'm so thankful for you joining me tonight. Let me share this one more place. While I'm doing that, let me tell you, this coming Saturday, I will be having an informational meeting 
for Kingdom District International School of Ministry. We're going to have our second session of classes beginning in August. Amen. So I hope that you'll join me Saturday. Amen. Saturday, July 24th at 2 o'clock p.m., 2 p.m. right here on Facebook Live. Don't forget, I'll be here Saturday at 2. The Hour of Fire is Sundays at 9 p.m. I thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for sharing this, those that are sharing this on your page. I appreciate you taking the time uh, to do that tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The Lord has been speaking to us. Amen. He has been speaking to us as we've been having prayer on the prayer altar, the podcast. And so tonight we're going to we're going to continue to pray. Amen. As a spirit leads us to pray. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you all for sharing this tonight. I appreciate you taking the time uh, to share this and to be on here. We're going to begin by going before the Lord in prayer. And after we pray the Lord's prayer, then I'm going to pray. Amen. As the spirit leads me to pray. Hallelujah. Right where you're watching. Why don't you just begin by opening up your mouth and giving God praise. Amen. I believe that miracles happen in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Miracles happen. Amen. Bodies will be healed tonight. Strongholds will be broken tonight by the grace of God, by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He can do all things. He can do all things but fail. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. If you believe he's an awesome God, why don't you just begin to praise him right where you're watching, right there in your home, right there as you're watching on your phone. Begin to open up your mouth, amen, and set the atmosphere tonight for miracles that are getting ready to be released in your life, amen. I believe that God has something awesome for you tonight. Something miraculous is going to happen in the presence of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. I'm so thankful for each and every every one of you. Amen. Go ahead and let somebody know that we're live. Take a moment to call somebody, text somebody, and tell them that the hour of fire, amen, is live tonight. Amen. Let me say hello to you all that have joined us tonight. Amen. Sister Barbara, our dear partner, amen. We thank God for you tonight. Amen. We thank the Lord for you. God bless you, Sister Marcella. Amen. We give God praise for you, our dear partner. Amen. We thank God for you tonight. Amen. Sister Teresa, another partner, we give God praise for you. And we're excited for what God is going to do tonight. I'm so thankful for you all joining me tonight. Amen. Let's begin to praise him, honor him, lift him up. Amen. Bless him with the fruit of your lips. Magnify the Lord with me tonight. Let us exalt his name together. Let's lift his name tonight. He said, if I be lifted up, that I will draw all men unto me. Oh, come on and lift Jesus higher tonight. Lift Jesus high for the world to see. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Something is going to happen tonight as you're praising him. Many of you have been through great trials and tribulation, tests that God has brought you through, storms that God has covered you in. Amen. Some of you have been through the fire. You've been through the flood. But tonight you have the testimony that you're still here. And if you're excited tonight, if you're glad, if you're grateful that God has kept you, that God has covered you, that God has protected you, why don't you begin to bless him? Come on and open up your mouth tonight. We're going to pray, but you've got to praise now. Come on, the Bible says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Amen. Come on and magnify him and bless his name tonight. If you're excited to be right on here tonight, you believe that even as you're watching, miracles are going to be released in your life. Amen. Just begin to hit those hearts. Amen. Begin to hit those hearts. And as you're hitting those hearts, begin to open up your mouth and magnify the Lord with me tonight. Come on and exalt his name. Come on and lift his name, bless his name, praise his name. Oh yes, I believe that we're in an atmosphere tonight because of your praise, as you release your praise and as you release your worship, we're in, we're in an atmosphere of miracles. We're in an atmosphere of breakthrough. We are in an atmosphere of deliverance. Hallelujah, glory be to God. God bless you, apostle. Amen, Gatlin, we thank God for you tonight. Amen, I'm honored to have you on tonight. Thank God for all of the people of God that will be 
joining us over this hour. Amen. Let's begin. Amen. By going before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Entering into his gates with thanksgiving. Oh, come on and give thanks tonight. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. His mercy endureth forever. No matter what you're going through, his mercy endureth forever. He's with you. You may not feel it, but he's with you. You may not see how, but I'm telling you, he's with you. He's been keeping you. He's been covering you. He's been protecting you. He's been strengthening you. Amen. He has been fortifying you. Some of you, he's been covering you from dangers that you see, dangers that you don't see. Oh yes, God is with you. He is your covering. Oh yes, he's your covering. I, I, I remember prophesying back in 2012. I began to let people know that we are in the hour and the time of the Passover. When I began to prophesy that back in 2011, 11, 2012. I did not know just how significant it really was. I began to tell people that as we are in the hour and the season of the Passover, the Lord began to tell me to tell people that even as you leave your house, you don't need to leave your house without having the blood applied over your forehead. You don't need to leave your home. You don't need to go anywhere unless you know that the blood is over your life. I begin to prophesy Matthew chapter 24 where the Bible warns us, Jesus warns us of what is going to take place in the last days. The Bible says in, la in the last days, there shall be wars and rumors of wars. The Bible says that in the last days, that there shall be pestilence, which represents airborne diseases. I remember speaking, amen, to the people, some of the people who are watching right now. I remember speaking to you. I remember telling you, amen, that you think they're wiping their buggy down now, but wait until there's an airborne disease and watch how they act and watch what they do. I'm telling you, I had no idea at that time that the time of the Passover, as the Lord had said, is truly really upon us. Everywhere that you go, even when you send your children to school, walking down the road, driving down the road, everywhere that you go, on your job, everywhere that you go, at school, everywhere that you go, in everything that you do, you must have the blood apply over your life. I thank God for my mom tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God for you, Prophetess Arlene. Amen. I thank the Lord for my dad on tonight. Amen. Apostle Kenneth Dorn, we honor the Lord for you tonight. Amen. But as the Lord is saying, if you believe that there's a covering because the blood of Jesus, the Bible says on the night of the Passover that they were to take a lamb and to kill the lamb and to apply the blood over the four corners of their doorposts. And the Bible says that he said, when I see the blood, oh my goodness. He said, when I see the blood, that I'll pass over you. When I see the blood, destruction will pass over you. When I see the blood, sickness will pass over you. When I see the blood, disease will pass over you. Some of you have not realized that when you go to the grocery store, the blood has been covering your life. Oh yes, even in the grocery store, the blood is covering you. When you touch your hands to that buggy and you start putting things in your shopping cart, amen, the blood is covering you even in the grocery store. Some of you don't realize on your job, amen, as you open up the door and you touch the handle, you can wear gloves or not wear gloves, it really doesn't matter. The blood of Jesus is covering you even as you walk into your job. Some of you are around people that are around other people and they come into your house but you're not realizing you're not realizing that even when somebody comes to your door when they come to drop off a package oh glory be to God and they're not so socially distant the blood is able to cover you and keep you and protect you from the hand of the enemy I'm telling you some of you need to realize tonight if you were able to see just how much God has been covering you if you were able to see how many dangers, how many accidents, how many things, how many ways that the devil has come to try to kill you and steal and to destroy you and your family. If you really knew, some of you only see a glimpse 
and, and if that's all you need, that's all you need. But some of you only see a glimpse. But if you really knew just how God was covering you, if you really could see just how God was protecting you as you rode down the road. Oh, a little further on, there was an accident. But God kept you. God kept you as you were riding down the road. I'm telling you today, somebody, you need to say the blood. Oh, come on right now as we prepare to pray tonight. Tonight, we're going to plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus. I'm telling you tonight that no man is righteous enough. No man was holy enough to go into the holy place. But because Jesus died, oh yes, he died. The Bible says he took the stripes on his back and he was wounded for our transgression and he was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. The Bible says he took the nails in his hand. He took the nails in his feet. They placed a crown of thorns upon his head. They whipped him and they beat him with the palms of their hand. They spat on him. And the Bible says they nailed him to that old rugged cross. And he was raised up from the earth. And he hung on the cross. And the Bible said he gave up the ghost. And he said it is finished. Oh yes, it is finished. The curse is broken because of the blood. The curse is broken because of the blood. Sickness is destroyed because of the blood. The hedge has been restored stored because of the blood oh somebody say the blood oh yes lord tonight we plead the blood we thank you for the blood we praise you for the blood we bless you for the blood oh the blood of jesus the blood that washed us the blood that cleanses us the blood that covers us the blood that protects us we thank you for the blood and tonight we plead the blood come on open up your mouth and plead the blood Every time you plead the blood, every time you plead the blood, you're like they were on the night of the Passover. They dipped their brushes in the blood and they began to apply it. Every time you plead the blood, you're dipping your brush in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Tonight we plead the blood of Jesus. Tonight the blood protects us the blood fights for us the blood defends us the blood shields us tonight we plead the blood of Jesus over every man over every woman listening under the sound of my voice come on open up your mouth and say Lord I plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood over my mind, the blood over my family, the blood over my assignment, the blood over my house, the blood over your house. In the name of Jesus, we apply the blood. We plead 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 the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Somebody say the blood, the blood, the blood. Come on, somebody shout the blood. Somebody plead the blood. Somebody say the blood. Open up your mouth and give the Lord praise that the blood still works. The blood still has power. The blood still has the power to save. The blood still has the power to deliver. The blood still has the power to protect us, to keep us, to cover us. Thank you for the blood. Come on, somebody plead the blood tonight. Let me see you in the comments. Just say the blood. Come on in the comments. Say the blood. Satan, the Lord God, rebuke you tonight. And we plead the blood, the blood, the blood. 
The hour of the Passover is here and tonight we wage war against principalities, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You cannot have our sons. Satan, we rebuke you tonight. You cannot have our daughters. Devil, you are defeated. Jesus died. Jesus died. Jesus rose. Jesus lives. Jesus reigns. He is seated tonight on the right hand of the Father. And we have the victory because of the blood. The blood, the blood. Come on. Just for a few more seconds. Plead the blood for a few more seconds. The blood over your mind. Keeping you from strongholds. Keeping you from sin. The blood of Jesus over your marriage. The blood of Jesus over your finances. The curse of poverty is broken. The curse of sickness is broken. The curse of disease is broken. The curse has broken been broken it is finished and we plead the blood of Jesus come on and thank him right now the blood now the blood the blood over my family the blood over my house the blood over my household the blood on my job even before I get there I plead the blood I plead the blood I plead the blood over those watching tonight no sickness no disease no plague shall come nigh your dwelling in the name of Jesus the blood prevails tonight somebody give God glory somebody give God glory thank you for the blood thank you for the blood hallelujah we're gonna pray in Jesus name we're gonna pray in Jesus name and then we're gonna go to the Word of God tonight oh yes Lord our Father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven Lord give us this day our daily bread forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil for thine is the kingdom thine is the power thine is the glory forever and ever amen and amen father God in the name of Jesus I thank you thank you for every man every woman listening under the sound of my voice Lord I see them tonight I see some people I see them in the spirit Lord God you were able to see Peter you were able to see him you saw him in the spirit and you said oh yes oh yes I see that the devil desires to have you and to sift you as wheat but I prayed I prayed for you I prayed I prayed for you I prayed that you would be covered I prayed that you would be protected I prayed that you would not be overtaken Lord I thank you that you prayed for us when we didn't have a mind to pray for ourselves Lord you are seated on the right hand of the Father and you make intercession tonight you make intercession tonight for no man can come to the father except by Jesus Christ you said I am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the father except through me tonight we pray in Jesus name in Jesus name when we say Jesus we have access Lord by you we run through troops by you we leap over walls it's in the name of Jesus that we have access tonight we pray and we plead the blood and we pray in Jesus name oh yes tonight when we say in Jesus name Lord strongholds have to break strongholds have to break bondages have to break chains have to break yokes have to break Lord God the prison doors have to fly open when we say in Jesus name Lord when we pray in Jesus name every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that Jesus Jesus Christ is Lord you are Lord tonight you're Lord tonight your name is great 
Your name is great and greatly to be praised. Your name is greater than cancer. It is greater than COVID-19. It is greater than sickle cell anemia. It's greater than diabetes. It's greater than fibromyalgia. It's greater than tuberculosis. It's greater than lupus tonight. It's greater than every sickness, every disease, every disorder. The name of Jesus is greater tonight. So we pray in Jesus' name. Every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess even the devil's worship at your feet every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord Lord tonight be Lord tonight we pray that you arise from your rest and be blessed by our praise tonight be glorified send your spirit all over the nation every man every woman listening under the sound of my voice the prophet Isaiah said in the year that King Uzziah died behold I saw the Lord oh tonight be lifted up high and lifted up let your train fill the temple let your glory fill the temple Tonight, Holy Spirit, you're welcome in. You are going to do it, not by power, not by might, but by your spirit. Every request, you said, ask and it shall be given. Under this anointing tonight, we stand under an open heaven and we ask you for it now. And we receive it now. By faith, we receive miracles. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody open your, your mouth tonight. By faith, we receive it. Healing, deliverance, salvation. Sons and daughters saved. Grandchildren saved. Your children's children saved. In the name of Jesus, we receive it by faith. Healing now. Flowing now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet not later but now by faith we receive it now in the self same hour in the name of Jesus we decree and declare healing oh somebody open up your mouth the virtue of God is flowing out tonight there is healing virtue flowing across the airwaves now 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 Shout now, 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 now. Eraba shake bahasa. God is healing. Urinary tract infections are being healed now. Healing in the female organs are happening now. Diabetes is breaking under the power of God now. In the name of Jesus, we decree miracles. The hour of prayer. At the hour of prayer. A man set by the gate, the gate called beautiful. Lord God, tonight somebody is sitting at the gate. Somebody needs a touch from you tonight. Your anointing is moving. Your glory is moving. Your virtue is flowing now, 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 now. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth and receive by faith now in Jesus' name. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be made whole. 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 Made whole. In the name of Jesus, now be made whole. Be made whole, be made whole in the name of Jesus. Now, 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 Erabashe, now in the name Eroboshe Masaya. Satan, go now. We rebuke you now. Spirits of infirmity, 
go in the name of Jesus we cast you out in the name of Jesus we cast you out of the mind we cast you out of the will we cast you out of the emotions we cast you out of their bodies wherever you're hiding go in the name of Jesus right now be made whole somebody shout somebody shout somebody shout miracles are happening now 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 break 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 arthritis is being healed by the power of the Holy Ghost infections disorder diseases break break in the name of Jesus Jesus said who touched me Jesus looked around he said who touched me I felt the virtue of the Lord who touched me somebody is reaching for him somebody is reaching for him don't stop don't stop don't stop open up your mouth and receive your miracle now the virtue of the Holy Ghost the virtue of Jesus Christ the virtue of Jesus Christ is flowing now receive it now the Bible said the disciples said look on me you're watching on Facebook tonight the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus is flowing through your phone through your iPad through your computer now virtue is flowing now 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 receive it receive it receive it Receive it, Hera Mahaso, Rebehese, receive it, receive it. I see healing happening now. I see deliverance happening now. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth, and thank Him that the pain is gone, the disease is broken, the yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. Hey, open up your mouth and give him glory, give him praise, give him honor, give him thanks. To God be the glory, to Jesus be the glory, to Jesus be the honor, to God be the praise. Hey, I see miracles happening, I see miracles happening. I see miracles happening. I see miracles happening. Somebody, you need to praise Him. You need to do what you couldn't do before. Stretch what you couldn't stretch before. Jesus spoke to the man. He said, stretch out your hand. Stretch out your hand. Rabakasaya, stretch out your hand, stretch out your hand. Hey, stretch out your hand tonight. God said, I'm healing it. Stretch out your hand. Hey, the virtue of the Holy Ghost, the virtue of the Holy Spirit. Somebody, you're sensing the power of God is moving, He's moving down your spine. He's moving from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. God is moving down the spine. Break in the name of Jesus. I saw it. God said he's doing it now. God said he's doing it now. Hey. Hey, Jesus. Somebody's praising him. Somebody's praising him in their house. Somebody's praising him in their house. Somebody's praising him in their house. 
they're not waiting to get to church they realize that I am the church I will not let the rocks cry out for me I'm gonna open up my mouth I'm gonna open my mouth you better open your mouth I said you better open your mouth tonight God said I've done it tonight God said it's finished tonight yeah. after this night no more pain no more we rebuke that attack of Satan in the name of Jesus 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 in Jesus name be healed be made whole Oh, Ramande Hisso, Ramande Ashaya. Several of you understand this. Jesus was not concerned about only preaching. He wasn't concerned about going through the, the ritual of church. Jesus was concerned about doing the will of his father ministering to hearts and minds God said tonight some of you got a word and now says the Lord I'm going to touch you tonight because you got a word already now you need a touch from me you got a word. Now you need a change. You got a word. Now God's about to show you something. I said God's about to show you something. Every now and then Jesus had to say, Watch this. Everybody sit down. The Bible said he had them all sit down. Sit them down. Because I'm about to show my glory. He prayed. And he said, Lord, I thank you. He got the fish and the loaves. And he lifted it up to heaven. He gave thanks. I want you to catch this revelation tonight. I want to speak this word in obedience unto God. I want to speak this word to every prophet and every apostle, every pastor, every minister of the gospel. The reason why he said my house is to be called the house of prayer is because prayer can do what you can't do. Prayer can release that which is in heaven, in earth. He said, these people are hungry. They said, Lord, they're hungry. Send them home. There's a pandemic, so send them home. Gas prices are high. They can barely afford to come to church, so send them home. Church was all right, but now it's time to send them home. Some of you went to church today. Go ahead and send them home. Send them home. Let them go home so they can rest. Let them go home so that they, they can eat something. Jesus said, I am the bread that has come down from heaven. So every now and then, he couldn't send them home. He had to sit them down. He said, have everybody sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Stop trying to make this happen. I'm going to show you that I'm a miracle working God. To every prophet, pastor, apostle, evangelist, bishop, every anointed minister listening under the sound of my voice. God said tonight, I'm reactivating miracles in your hands. God said after this night, God said you're going to see more miracles. I wish somebody would praise him like I just told you you're about to get a million dollars. God said after this night you're going to see more miracles in your ministry 
than you ever have before. God said, I'm not just doing it in you, but he said, I'm doing it across the nation. He said, I'm doing it around the world. God said, I'm releasing miracles and I'm going to put healing power in your hand. You shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, saith the Lord. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, after tonight, I'm turning my house back to a house of prayer. I was hearing the word of God tonight from my dad, Apostle Kenneth Dorn. He was preaching about how Jesus went into the temple. He was angry. He began to beat them out of the temple because they were trying to raise money and everything they did was for sale. Everything they did was for a cash app. Everything that they did was for an offering. Not just for an offering, but for exchanging money. For fundraising. Everything they did was for money. And the Bible said he beat them out of the temple. He beat them out. He turned over the money changers table. Who am I talking to tonight? He said, my house is to be called the house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves I'm speaking to some people tonight that are in prayer you're not just in church you're in prayer you're not just concerned with another engagement your life is submitted to God and you've been in the place of prayer and God said, every now and then, I'm going to cancel your message. I'm not going to let you preach. He said, every now and then, I'm going to place an anointing on you so strong. I'm going to place a healing anointing in your hands. So heavy. And he said, I'm doing it for my grace. Because the hour of grace is running out. But he said that this last move of grace... Should we be in the end time? Should Jesus be on his way back? And I believe he is. This last move of grace is going to be a moving of healing and the demonstration of the power of God. God said, I'm going to cut your messages short. I'm going to cut your preaching short. And I'm about to place a heavy anointing and glory upon your life. There's going to be a grace who am I prophesying to tonight? There's going to be an, a, a grace and an anointing on you to break bondages, demonic strongholds of sicknesses, spirits of infirmity that have been there for years. God said in one day, in one hour, it's going to be broken just like that. God said, I'm about to show my glory. If you receive this word, Lift your hands and say, Lord, use me, use me, use me. Lord, I'm yours. I submit my life to you. I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before you. This is my reasonable service. Lord, I'm at your service. I surrender all to you. My hands are yours. My messages are yours. Don't let me say what I want to say. But when I open up my mouth, let me speak what the Lord has to say in the self-same hour. And I hear the Lord saying, in this hour, in this hour, there will be healing from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. God said, I'm going to use you. Vessels of silver vessels of gold, vessels of wood but he said there's some vessels of honor. Tonight I'm making you I have made you a vessel of honor and he said I'm going to show forth the glory of God in your life through your life with miracles signs wonders demonstration of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare that you're being saturated even now there's an anointing flowing from heaven, not from a man, but from heaven. It's flowing on you tonight. When Jesus 
needed to do a miracle he prayed he wanted to see the glory he prayed somebody say Lord make me a house of prayer Lord make me a house Lord make me a house make me a house of prayer Lord make me your house make me your house of prayer he prayed Lazarus was dead Jesus wept but Jesus also prayed tonight let the anointing of prayer and intercession be on you Lord I don't know what to say that's okay just pray to me just pray to me he said father I know that you hear me always but for the sake of these unbelievers these scribes and Pharisees, these church going people that have no true relationship with God, these people that are unbelieving, they're in fear and they're living in fear. Lord, I want you to show your glory. God said, I'm going to authorize you. I'm going to confirm you. I'm going to affirm you with signs and wonders and miracles, saith the Lord. I'm going to show them that I am with you. Somebody give him glory right now. For his glory. For his glory. For his name's sake. He's placing an anointing on you tonight. The gifts of the Spirit be released from heaven now. Let the windows of heaven come open. Pour out the gifts. The gifts of the Spirit. That's what we want tonight. We seek to prophesy. Release the prophetic anointing. Release the anointing of miracles. Working of miracles. The gift of healing. Word of wisdom word of knowledge the gift of faith the gifts of the helps release the gifts of the spirit don't let us miss this you're doing it all over the world don't let us miss it you're pouring out your spirit don't let us miss this we press into the kingdom tonight we press into the kingdom endow us endow us with power from on high and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you hold Holy Spirit Holy Spirit endow us endow us endow me Lord endow us be sensitive. I hear the Lord say, be sensitive. Be sensitive to my spirit. Be sensitive to my spirit. Give us a sensitivity like we've never had before. Whatever you say, let us hear you. Let us hear you. Let us hear you. Open up our ears. Open up our ears. Don't let us miss not one word from God. Don't let us miss what you're saying. Oh, Elijah was in the cave and there came a fire from heaven but it was not from God there came an earthquake but God was not in the earthquake there came a rushing wind but God was not in the wind God was teaching Elijah how to hear the voice of God I pray tonight teach us the disciples said Teach us how to pray. Teach us how to hear you. Train my ear to hear the voice of God. Don't let us miss you. Holy Spirit, don't let us miss you. Somebody's been waiting 28 years for a miracle. Don't let us miss you. We cannot afford to miss you. Somebody has been waiting for 18 years. Somebody's been waiting for 38 years years we can't miss you open up our ears sharpen our hearing so we can hear you sharpen 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 
sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. We want to hear you, Holy Spirit. Saturate us. Come on, pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Saturate us. We want to hear your whisper. We want to hear your still, small voice. Speak to us. Speak to me, Lord. I'm your servant and I hear you. Say that to the Lord. I'm your servant and I hear you. Lord, I'm your servant and I hear you. I'm your servant and I hear you. I hear you, Lord. I hear you, Lord. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, Lord. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, Jesus. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to say, say it. Open your mouth. And I will speak for you. I will speak through you, saith the Lord. You are my son tonight. I call you my daughter tonight. I will speak through you, saith the Lord. I'm going to tell you what to say. I will reveal to you what your eyes cannot see. I will reveal to you what no man could know. They don't need an x-ray. They need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is greater than an x-ray. I see through you. I see inside you. I see around you. I know you, saith the Lord. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil. His eyes are as a flame, a fire, fire of the Holy Ghost. Open our eyes. Open our eyes. Reveal what is hidden. Reveal what's secret. Reveal what's a mystery. Reveal to us. Somebody's looking for vision. Somebody wants to know, Lord, where should I go? Where do you want me to go? Tonight, divine instruction is released from heaven tonight. Open up the ears of your prophets, your apostles, your evangelists, your pastors, your teachers. Holy Spirit, now open up their ears in the name of Jesus. Somebody saying, Lord, where do I go? God's going to show you. Where do you want me? God's going to tell you. Where are you leading me? God's going to show you. No more confusion. No more doubt. No more unbelief. No more unassurity. No more doubt. No more confusion. No more double-mindedness. The mind of the Spirit is clear. The mind of the Spirit is not confused. The mind of the Spirit is not afraid. The mind of the Spirit is full of faith. We pray for the mind of Christ tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wisdom, wisdom, be released. We ask you for wisdom. We ask you, Holy Spirit, show us. Show us where to go, what to do. It's coming. Get ready. God's going to speak to you. Man of God, get ready. God's going to speak to you. Get your paper, get your pencil, get your pen. God's going to speak to you. I break that spirit of confusion. The warfare in your mind. Now be broken. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Now be broken. 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 
hear. He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. Somebody needs direction. Acknowledge me in all your ways. I will direct you. Elijah wanted to know where to go. God said, come into this cave and talk to me. Some of you want to know where to go and God is saying, come into your secret closet and talk to me. I'm not about to tell you where so that you can go and neglect your prayer closet. I want you here. Come here, saith the Lord. Come here. Draw nigh to me and I'll draw nigh to you. You want to know a secret? Come here so I can tell you. You want to know? I hear the Holy Ghost say, come to me. Come on. I'm ready to tell you. Are you ready to hear it? Are you ready to listen? Come to me. I want to show you something. I want to tell you something. I'm going to give you vision. Come to me, saith the Lord. Come to me. Come to me. I'm right here. I'll answer your questions. I'm going to make it real clear. I'm going to make it so plain. You're not going to error. You're not going to err. You want an instruction so you can go. God said, no, come to me first. Then you can go. Come to me and I will send you. Who is the Holy Ghost talking to tonight? Come to me and I'm going to send you. I'm going to tell you where to go. Come to me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden and I'll give you rest. I hear an interpretation to that scripture tonight. I hear the Lord say heavy laden. When you're working in the wrong place, doing the wrong thing at the wrong time, heavy laden, wasting time, heavy laden, working with no result, out of place, out of time. Tonight, my prayer is that you be syncopated, synchronized with the timetable of God. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. Some of you have wasted time, but it's okay. You're going to get it all back. Some of you have wasted time. You're going to redeem it all. You're going to get it all back. Come to me, saith the Lord. Come to me, saith the Lord. Return unto me. Return to me. Return to me. Hallelujah. Return to me, saith the Lord. Come to me. I'm right here. I'm willing to answer your questions. So many people, they don't want to call certain companies because they know when they call, they're going to get a robot and they want to talk to a real person. Some of you haven't been praying because you want to talk to a real person. You don't want to in between. I get it. You want to talk to the real person. You want a live person. You want a live person when you call. God said when you call, you're going to get a live person. I will handle every issue. I will show you and I will walk you through everything that I called you to do. But you got to call me. Call unto me, saith the Lord, and I will answer you. In your time of trouble, I will answer you. I will answer you. I'm not going to leave the phone ringing like a lot of people, bad companies do. They know you're calling. They're just incompetent. They don't even answer the phone because they know they can't. They don't have a spirit to help you. God said, I'm willing to help you. I'm not going to leave it ringing. I'm not going to leave you calling. I'm going to answer you, say the Lord, and I'm going to show you great and mighty things. I see a lot of you. I see a lot of us in the spirit. We're like, Lord, show me and I'm going to go. 
I love that. I love that I see a zeal in most of the people that are watching tonight. I see it in the spirit. Even in me, I see a zeal. I see a willingness to whatever God tells you to do, you're jumping right on it. Whatever God tells you to do, you jump right on it. But I hear the Lord and I see him saying tonight, I'm not telling you anything because I want you to come to me first. I don't want to send you an instruction for you to go and run with it right now. He said, I just want you to come to me. Just come to me right now. We'll get to the work later. You just come to me. Come to me. Are you going to come to him? That's a question for you tonight. That's a real question. It doesn't matter how long you've been saved. It doesn't matter how long you've been preaching. It doesn't matter how great the anointing is on your life. There will be times that God says, I just want you. Just like a father, just like a mother. They love that you're doing well. They love that you're healthy, that you're happy, that you have a family, that you're... But every now and then, mom, she just want to see you. I just want to see you. I don't want anything from you. I just want to see you because I love you. That's what the father is saying tonight. I know you want to give me an offering. That's, that's what this is what the Lord is saying. He said, I know you want to give me an offering. I know you want to do something for me. He said, I just want to see you. It's been a while since I saw you. You've been doing a lot of stuff for me. That's good, but I want to see you. Come on in. Let me talk to you. Sit down. Have a seat. Stay a while. Now is not time to go to the nations. Now is time to have a conversation with your father. Come talk to your father. Come love on your father a little bit. Come on and love on your father a little bit tonight. Let's love on our Father tonight. I just want to see you. Just because there's no reason. There's no other motive here. God is saying there's no other motive. I just want to see you. Because I love you. Yes, commune with me. Have dinner with me. Have a talk with me. Just sit down at the table with me. Don't worry about all this stuff you're going to do heal the sick, raise the dead. You're going to do all that. Travel to the nations. You're going to do all of that. Some of you have books to write. You have songs to sing. You have messages to preach. But today God is saying, I'm not, I'm not after that. I don't want that today. I just want to see my son. I just want to see my daughter because I love you. Jesus loves you. I just want to see you because I love you. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him tonight. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him that after all this time, he still wants to see us. After all this time, he still cares enough to just want to sit with us. The God that created the heavens wants to sit down with you. The God that created the worlds by the word of God. He wants to sit down with you. The one that parted the Red Sea. The one that walked on the water. Turned water to wine. Multiplied the fishes and the loaves. That God. He just want to talk. He just want to communicate with you. He just wants to love on you. And he wants you to love on him tonight. Some of us are so ready to work for God. It's a beautiful thing. 
but God said, work and worship go hand in hand. The same word that means work is connected to the word worship in the Bible. When Satan tells Jesus that I will give you all of this if you bow down and worship me, that word worship is connected to the word work. Work. Some of us are workaholics and I admit I can be that way. Ever since God called me to preach when I was 13 years old and when the Holy Ghost kept doing things in me, I love to preach. I love to prophesy. I love to sing. I love to do what I'm doing right now. I love it. It brings me joy. But some of us, we work for him at times that God wants us to worship him. Because they're the same thing. He said, I don't just want your work. I want your worship. Tonight, he wants our worship. Tonight, he wants our worship. He wants your worship tonight. Are you going to give it to him? The real worship. Not for a show, but because you love him. You do all this because you love him. You preach, you prophesy. Some of us, we do it day by day, night after night. Because we love him. Not because we want an offering. Sometimes people give and sometimes they are determined not to give. And I learned to make Jesus my source. I said, I learned to make Jesus my source. I'm so glad that God didn't send me to the nations when I first got started. As much as I wanted and was willing to go, I'm glad that he didn't. Because now I know what it's like to live off of Jesus. Not off of what people give me. But to live by faith. Paul said, I've learned how to be content. I've learned how to be abased. I've learned how to abound. I've learned that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I worship him tonight. He's my source. He's my source. When people could bless you and they choose not to. They could help you and they choose not to. They could put a heart. They watch my videos all the time. They could hit the heart. They could put a comment. But they don't want to help. They don't even want to seem like they help or support me. And many of them, they do the same thing to you. They act like they don't see you. But they're watching you. They're watching you. Some of them are copying you. That's even worse. But they act like they don't see you. But that's okay. Jesus is my source. And I owe him everything. I owe him everything. I haven't done anything that I preach for him. I haven't done a thing that I sing for him. I haven't done a thing. Jesus gave it all. He didn't just preach night after night. He didn't just fast for 40 days and 40 nights. He laid down his life. He gave it all. Let's give him our worship. The least we can do is give him our praise. Come on, open up your mouth and thank him tonight. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Come on, open up your mouth and thank him. Worship him, worship him. I will worship the Lord my God. Him only will I serve. I will not preach for cash apps and, and PayPal transfers. I will not preach for money. But I preach for the kingdom of God. I'm storing up treasures in heaven. And I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. For those that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Can I prophesy this to some people you've been prophesying? You've been preaching to some of your family. 
for years. You've been prophesying to some of your family for years. Can I tell you that that scripture is not just about giving a thousand dollar seed. That scripture is about you sowed in tears. When they hated you, you still sowed the word. When they rejected you, you still sowed the word. You sowed in tears and you will reap in joy. The same people you sowed into, they're going to give their life to Christ. The same people you've sown into, they're going to turn their lives around. Some of you is your son. Some of you is your daughter. Some of you it's a niece, it's a niece, it's a nephew. They're going to get saved. Your labor is not in vain. Your labor is not in vain. Be not weary in well-doing. You will reap if you faint not. Tonight, I want to give you an opportunity before we go for you to give. As we're worshiping God with our, our lips, we want to worship God with our giving. I want to give you an opportunity to worship God in your giving, even under this anointing tonight. I want you to sow into the spirit. Don't sow into a man. Sow into the anointing. And the anointing of God is moving tonight. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. And some of you, he's going to tell you to give a seed. That may cost you something. But whatever he tells you to do, do it. Obey him. Obey God tonight. You can give through Cash App to Dollar Sign Prophet Jonathan. Tonight we're giving God an offering. An offering of worship. An offering of worship. Worship is not just what it says. Worship is what it does. Faith without works is dead. We've received the word tonight. Let's sow into it. And I pray that as you sow, as you give tonight, the Lord is releasing an anointing from on high. He's meeting your needs. He's going to exceed your expectation. He's going to do exceeding abundantly above what you ask or think. I'm not on here for people to give, but I must give you this opportunity. I know that as you sow into the anointing, that the Lord is going to bless you in a greater way, in a greater way, in a greater way than you could ever imagine. Eyes haven't seen it. Ears haven't heard it. It hasn't entered into the hearts of man what the Lord has in store for you. But he has revealed it unto us by his spirit, by his spirit. Hallelujah. Tonight, I prophesied to you a word, not a carnal word. Tonight, I didn't give you a carnal word tonight. I didn't tell you about your new car and your new house and money. All of that's coming. But I prophesied a word from the kingdom. God said he's increasing the anointing on your life. God said your hands shall wrought miracles. Miracles are going to follow you because you believe in Jesus. I am more determined after tonight. And I was already determined, but after tonight, I am more determined to preach the gospel. Somebody that, that doesn't mean much to somebody that doesn't sound impressive. But to somebody that understands what I'm talking about, you understand, you know what I mean. I'm determined to preach the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, while Peter preached the gospel, the sick were healed. While he preached the gospel, his shadow healed them. While he preached the gospel, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. He didn't breathe on them. He didn't pour oil on them. He just preached the gospel. Oh my goodness. With all that revelation we got, if we can humble ourselves and just preach the gospel, 
oh my goodness. You talk about miracles. Billy Graham preached the gospel. Who am I talking to tonight? Catherine Kuhlman. In the times when God was using her the most, it was at the time she preached the gospel. God has given us great revelation, great insight, great understanding. But if we can just preach the gospel, if we can say, Lord, I'm going to push that message to the side and let me just preach Jesus. I decree and declare God is releasing an anointing to preach Jesus. Those that preach Jesus had longevity. Those that preach the gospel have longevity in their ministry. I thank the Lord for my dad who's on here tonight. One thing I can say about my dad, he preaches the gospel. There's not a whole lot of extra stuff. There's so much in the Bible, so much to be revealed. But there's power in preaching the gospel, the blood of Jesus. There's power in the blood. Somebody open up your mouth and worship him tonight. Glory be to God. Lord, we humble ourselves. We vow to preach the gospel. Who's with me tonight? Who's with me tonight? We vow to preach the gospel. The Greek is good, knowing the Hebrew is good, knowing the background is good, understanding the setting is good, hermeneutics and all of that is good, the theology is good, but the gospel, that's the good news. That's what causes blinded eyes to be opened. That's what causes the lame to, the lame to walk upright before God. That is what's going to usher in this great healing anointing that's going to sweep across the nation and around the world. Miracles, signs, wonders. You're going to cast out demons. You're going to heal the sick. You're going to raise the dead. You're going to prophesy and not one word will fall to the ground because you preach the gospel. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. To God be the glory. To Jesus be the glory. To Jesus be the praise. To Jesus be the glory. Hallelujah. Sometimes you wonder, Lord, what should I say? What would you have me to say? Say, Lord, today, I'm going to preach the gospel and the Holy Ghost is going to back me up with signs, wonders, miracles, and demonstration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gospel is enough. Amen, woman of God. The gospel is enough. Jesus is enough. They don't need to know you. They need to know Jesus. You don't need to know me. You need to know Jesus. You need to know him. Hallelujah. I thank you all for joining me tonight. Great men and women of God were on here tonight. I sense that. I know spiritual authority. I know spiritual ranking, regardless of how long you've been in it. God has given me a gift of discernment. And I know when I am among anointed people and I know when there's especially anointed people that are among us. And that is the case tonight. And I know that is the case all the time because of my parents being on here. And I honor the anointing on their lives. Great mantles on their life. But I see that on some of you, some of, some, some of you that are watching from all over the world, some of you that are watching tonight, I see that on your life great anointings. And so I'm honored to have you joining me tonight. To God be the glory. Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your obedience. 
And I pray a special blessing over your offering tonight. Lord, bless them good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Bless them 100-fold. Make them a thousand times greater than they are. Every offering, every seed, tonight multiply it. Those that gave all that they had, those that gave their best when they didn't have much, I pray that you multiply it the way that you multiplied the fishes and the loaves. Show forth your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you this opportunity before we go. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has risen Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. If you're watching tonight, you want to rededicate your life. You've been watching. You watched this entire recording or you watched tonight. All you have to do is pray a simple prayer to rededicate your life to Jesus. And repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died and that you arose again on the third day. Come into my life. Come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for saving me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you prayed that prayer, if you've re rededicated your life tonight as a result of watching this, I would love to hear from you. Please send me a message here, right here on my Facebook page. Send me a message and say I've received Jesus Christ or I rededicated my life. I would love to hear and celebrate with you. We're so happy for you tonight in Jesus' name. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Uh, to all of you that are watching tonight, if you have not, turn on your notifications. Do that by clicking those three buttons in the corner. The anointing of God is still moving, but we've got to go. Hallelujah. Let's lift up Jesus before we go. Lord, we thank you. We honor you and we bless you. Thank you for this awesome time in your word. Hallelujah. Bless your people in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining me tonight. Have a blessed night. I love you all with the love of Jesus. We'll be back next Sunday night. Same place, same time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tell a friend. Love you all. Thank God for my dad, my mom as well. All the partners, all the partners joining us. We love you. Thank God for you. Have a blessed night. Share this on your page. If you've been blessed, share it so other people can be blessed as well. Love you all. Have a blessed night. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your kind words and your prayers. I appreciate it. Love you all. Amen. Also, don't forget, don't forget, this coming Saturday, we're having an informational meeting about session two of the School of the Prophets. If you were a part of the School of the Prophets the last time, I'm going to be sending you an email uh, with uh, some response to those that have that did the last assessment that I never wrote you back. I'm going to be writing you back and I'm going to be telling you about the upcoming session of classes that will be in August. Amen. I love you all. Have a blessed night. Amen. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Bye-bye.